when you being so uh, involved with the healthcare system and having been so involved, when you see things like, you know, clap for our healthcare workers, health, uh, frontline workers and all, what do you think about that? Well, it's not wrong for the sentiment, right? I mean, people, yeah. people want to uh, express their support. People want yeah. to express. Their, so, okay, what can they do? You know, so I think... I understand where you're coming from. You're thinking like, is this lame? Is this an oh, No, I'm just curious. I mean, oh, come on, I saw that smile. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm more than willing to share my thoughts as well, but okay. maybe you can go first. No, but but I think if we if we take the view that everything is lame or not worth it, yeah. or it then nothing is done. Yeah. Cynical. Yeah. Very cynical. Yeah, you know? I haven't shared my thoughts yet. I, I can, calm I can, I can, It's like the way you're like creeping up to that topic, man. I'm like, <laughs> no, so, uh, I mean, yeah, the cynical view would be, okay, you, you uh, come clip for me or for what, mm. right? But, the reality is that people want to express their support, want yeah. to express their, mm. uh, their, their solidarity. You've got to allow that to happen. And, mm. and I think nothing wrong in encouraging it. Yeah. But then if you think that, but if you get sucked into the idea that now that you've done it, you've ticked the box and then we move on and that's the end of the story, then okay, la, then mm. you've fallen into that, 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 that sort of value signaling type of trap. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I so, mean, I, I mean, no, how, so far, my, how far are you going to go with this burn you know because you can say the same about influencers you know no. it's like well you make a podcast then you fix the world's problems is it? so first of all like, can I clarify that both of you speak about oh don't judge you all just judge me just by the fact that I ask a question because my sentiments are similar to yours like, oh, okay, like in the sense that okay then it's almost like if you want to help you have to go all the way like little gestures don't count which I also think is not a good mm. way to cannot be so to right? encourage yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like, got to have a middle ground yeah you got to have a middle ground uh, but of course the, the flip side of that is like what you said like if it just becomes oh now I feel good because I've clapped I've done my part to support the healthcare workers that's fucked up like, you know but I think this is why when I see certain sentiments that we have spoken about also when people show sympathy towards uh, an incident that happens in, in a country like when we, we did a podcast about the Notre Dame a church that, that fell down and there was an outpouring of like um, support not fell down got burned in a fire then there were people who said, oh, you care about this, but you don't care about something mm. else in some other country. And we're like, I mean, at least they're caring about something, right? There's no, there's no hierarchy of caring. Certain problems, yes, are more urgent. But that's when I see people even shitting on, oh, this clap for, for, for healthline workers, blah, uh, frontline workers is, is useless and all. I don't agree with that. Yeah, you know, but but the, yeah. the truth is, uh, the last two years, right? Yeah, there were a lot of accidental instances where we felt very proud to be Singaporean, mm. and it weren't all these clap for frontliners. It was like when I went to get my second jab, and mm. I sat there waiting for you know like to see if any side effects. I wanted to stand up and say the pledge at that point. Uh. Oh, same. It's just yeah, like yeah, some, yeah. Some, something about just how quiet, how efficient, how the whole thing was. Friday night, I go to a community center, I get a, a jab that even you know, people in other countries cannot get. I just felt like. Oh, this is the real NDP that wow, we're talking about. I'm getting goosebumps, man. No, I'm like, so I, I, want, I want to ask you, <laughs> what, have there, has there been an instance in the last two years that made you like, wow, I'm super proud of this moment. As every as day, Singapore, every right? day he gets up. Well done, bro. Well done. <laughs> Politician. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Every day. Didn't yeah. miss the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, last two years, any, any particular moment you remember that you felt? Uh, we, many, you know. Honestly, mm. very many. I, I mm. have to say, I had a similar feeling when I get to men, went to get uh, my booster mm, or you know, booster. took my kids or whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just that, you know, we're in the middle of a crisis mm, yeah. and this thing gets done, you know, hey, no fuss, no yeah, drama, no we just get it done, yeah. you know, just get it all done. Uh, but, but, you know, I remember reading um, um, uh, a story uh, online about the SQ flights coming mm. back with hardly anybody in it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, you know, the Singaporeans who were stranded overseas uh, and then able to come back and then like, I'm, I'm trying to, I think it was a flight from New Zealand or, or, or I, I can't be so sure. Yeah. But I remember reading about it and the person had like described the difficulty of, of uh, getting, getting, the, get, the, getting out of, yeah. getting out of wherever they were, right? Trying yeah, to get yeah. home to their parents and get home to their family. And, and, the, and, and in, the, in the blog post, you know, the, that sense of how when you step onto a SQ flight, mm. right? I mean, it's a real cliche, right? I mean, I also feel it, right? Whenever yeah, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. coming mm. there, you, it's welcome like, welcome home. Welcome yeah. home. And it's yeah. like, and, in peacetime, like if it's 2018, 2017, you'd be like, oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, can yeah. I have a, you know, yeah. a, you, know uh, you know, whatever, wet yeah. towel or my, my drink or whatever, right? I mean, you, you're, they're, they're, they're trying so hard, but the reality is it really does feel like that, you know? Yeah. Like you step onto the plane mm. and you do feel like suddenly you're part of Singapore, yeah, right? Yeah. So then I was reading this blog post and I just like, I can imagine that feeling because I know what it's like. And can you imagine then having felt that you were stranded and isolated somewhere else mm. and then you got into this flight I think they said there were only like four or six people on this flight mm -hmm. and they had all this crew looking after them. And mm -hmm. I, I tell you that really like, oh, I brought a, a choke to my, oh. because 
you know, it meant that SQ and SIA and Singapore, we kept up all of these lifelines mm-hmm. and we were able to bring Singaporeans home. Yeah. Uh, that's not a small thing, you know. And yeah, that, that's, yeah. that was a national effort to remain connected to the world, a national yeah. effort to be able to bring people home. So mm. it's like from this biggest thing across the world, right down to the fact that how we did things to get our jab. Yeah. I was like, yeah, 101 different ways, man. Over the last two years, I felt very, very proud. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. So, so, so why are NDP still like that? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> NDP is still like <laughs> what? Open ended <laughs> question. Open ended question. Fair, to be fair, another one of those moments was when they spread out the you know the fireworks yeah, yeah, yeah. and you could see it from your home from your balcony if you live high enough lah. Like. Yeah, and that kind of thing. That was also a very nice moment that, that we had in the last couple of years. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. really glad that we kept on celebrating NDP. Yeah, mm. you know, I mean, okay, yeah, it was not exactly the same, but mm. it's like okay, we we just have to market, make the effort to market, and mm. you know. It's remind the world, but also remind ourselves. You know, like yeah. we we ain't stopping this. Mm. Mm. So that, that was that was also quite. I mean, a thousand and one moving moments. Like. Mm-hmm.